this is Will from Will Development, and today I'm talking about my favorite strongman and strongman moments from the 2000s. Now this is from 2000 to 2010. One name will always stick out when it comes to the 2000s, and that name is Morios Pujanowski. Six foot something shredded ex bodybuilder from Poland decided to become a strongman. Morios Pujanowski was an absolute monster. This dude had probably the best conditioning ever. He would get done pulling a fucking plane and stand up and have an interview like it didn't just happen. He also has the most world's strongest man wins ever at six. Next in line is still at four. So Drunas Zaviskas is hoping to catch up to that number and will probably surpass him. And speaking of Big Z, this is where he started making his debut in World's Strongest Man. A lot of people don't remember, but Zydrunas Zaviskas actually did compete against Marius Pujanowski one year. But this was before Zydrunas Zaviskas was actually Zydrunas Zaviskas, or Zaviskas, not sure how to say his name. Big Z is probably the best strongman who has ever lived. Probably the World's Strongest Man that's ever lived in history. He has more trophies than any other strongman competitor alive. Probably than half of them put together. And the 2000s is basically when Big Z started to get his stride. But one of my favorite moments from the 2000s is when Phil Pfister, the fireman from America, the first American to win World's Strongest Man in 24 years. The last person to ever win that honor from America was Mr. Bill Kazmaier. The 2000s would also be empty if I didn't mention the introduction of Brian Shaw, who is one of my favorite competitors from the era. In the late 2000s, somewhere around 2007-ish, in World's Strongest Man, but it started a rivalry between him and Big Z that would last until today. You're gonna have to subscribe to hear more about that story. Coming up in the next episode, where we talk about, I talk about, my favorite strongman and strongman moments, from 2010s to 2016. So be sure to subscribe that we can catch that next video. And as always, leave me some comments in the bottom below. Hopefully some mean ones that talk about how stupid I am for forgetting your favorite person. And if you don't, then what's your excuse?